Dr. Allen is a former minister who was excommunicated from the church after he began to quote and teach his congregation using the Book of Lucifer, from the pulpit. We asked Dr. Allen if considering the recent discovery of the Book of Lucifer, does he think God is who he says he is? Ooh, you know, that is a really good question. Um, is God who he say he is? Well, you know, if you had asked me this question, you know, a couple of years ago, my answer would have been plain and simple, you know. I had always been on Team Jesus, but now, um, well, not so much mm -hmm. on Team Jesus. Um, you know, after the book of Lucifer came out, I, I began to, you know, question God, which was kind of crazy because I was a pastor. And I mean, I was a successful pastor. I had a church and I was bringing in about $600,000 a year. I had four cars. I had a side chick, you know, everything. All of that, I, it, it meant nothing to me. You know, I'm, 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 I'm in here taking people last down for their social security, and it's like, a part of me felt like maybe that was wrong. Maybe somewhere in another universe, I guess, that my deeds would, 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 would be wrong. But, you know, because I was taking it, you know, doing the Lord's work with it, sometimes the Lord work was getting my car waxed. But, and so sometimes it just, it just felt like you know, something was wrong. Millions of lives have been disrupted by the recent discovery of this historical document. We asked Dr. Allen how the book of Lucifer has changed his life. Well, I remember that Sunday morning when I got up there and I started quoting from the book of Lucifer. And um, at first, it was just business as usual. I was preaching my sermon and then, um, and the deacons decided that they wanted to come and put their hands on me. And I have told, I, you know, I don't know if you're familiar or anything about churches in the South, but when, when the pastor tells the deacon, don't put your hands on me, that means don't put your hands on me. And they put their hands on me. And it was the last time that they put their hands on me. Um, we was wrestling in there and we was fighting. Somebody drew a pistol. Um, it was not me. <laughs> No, no, because I, 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 I'm, you know, I walk with the, the sword and the shield and the helmet and the breastplate and the uh, kneecap pads and the ankle goiters and the suspenders of righteousness. So I, I don't, I don't, I don't. The only weapon that I pack is the mental bullets that I be shooting. But um, yeah, they tried to run me up out of there, and you know that had a, that had an effect on me. And I said to myself, you know, if all of this. If all, you know, if all of this is a, a lie, and all of this is made up, uh, who, who I've been collecting this money for? And it's like, well, it's too late for me to say something crazy like, I'm gonna get this money back. Cause you know, I gotta have a place to stay, and you know, my children from my first and second marriage gotta have a place to stay. So, you know, it is what it is, you know, maybe God turned out not to be who he said he was. But I mean, we all stuck here now, and it ain't nothing that we can really do about it. So, um, don't nobody expect to get no money out of me. The best thing I can tell you. And, and yeah, I have switched over. I, you know, I have switched over to Team, you know, Team Lucifer. That's that's where I'm at now. You know, I'm a, I'm a Team Lucifer. Cause you know, Team Jesus. You know, I had to. I ain't like that. I, I never really did. You know, I just want to be me. Yeah, no more questions.